Before I begin, I just want to say a massive thank you to the people at Feridax. If it wasn't for their cooperation, I never would have been able to make this video. So today we're taking a look at the showy quest. As comes typically standard, you have three vents, one in the chin, one on top. But what's unique about this helmet is on the back there are two smaller independently operated, one on either side as I'm operating here. Now the look of this helmet is quite grown up, it's more subtle than the GT Air that I use day to day but it still contains some nice curves, nice lines, some bulges here and there which give it a kind of masculine feel while still looking attractive but not flary and over the top. The visor seals beautifully as you'd expect from the showy pinlock system which is also included but what's unique about this model is this little lever on the side. Now when it's pushed forward there's a tiny gap, this is the city setting, allows a little bit of air through. Back in the middle the visor opens and closes normally with no resistance, if you push it straight to the back it does not open whatsoever, really nifty little trick. Once again in the middle opens and closes normally, right back will not open whatsoever and then fully forward city setting, tiny little bit of airflow. Now what is missing from this helmet which is present on the GT Air is on the cheek pads as I'm showing here there are no quick release red pulls. Bit of a shame, not the end of the world. The chin strap is an optional extra, it's not included on the helmet, you have to fit it yourself. But what I aim to do with the rest of this video is to tell you guys my initial impressions with this helmet. I've been wearing it for about two months now so I've used it in rain, shine, hot, cold, you name it. I'm excited to tell you what I think about it, how I feel, what's good about it, what isn't so good about it. Thank you for watching. Let's crack on. Beautiful helmet from Shoei. Made for touring, made for long miles, made for comfort. It's one of the things that I don't like so much about it. Not necessarily criticisms, just observations if you like. My daily is a Shoei GT Air. I love that helmet and I still prefer it in terms of looks. I think the GT Air is a much better looking helmet. I prefer wearing the GTF for quick blasts, um, but things like going to the shops, I'll chuck on the GTF. Things like going for a quick back road blast, I'll throw on the GTF. But for everything else, this helmet is amazing. What I miss from the GTF of the sun visor, I'm running the dark tinted visor on this. There's no internal sun visor, so if I get caught out at night, for instance, pain in the ass. At least with the GT Air I can flick the sun visor up or down because it has a regular clear visor. Nice and simple, right? Beautiful. The GT Air is slightly more accommodating in terms of a fully removable liner. So the Quest is slightly more basic and that's expected when you consider the price. But I really don't want that to fool you. Um, Badger and I recently went on a trip to Nottingham we live on the Isle of Wight by the way, so that's a, a bit of a trek. But oh my god, was I blown away by this helmet. I, I cannot put into words just how much quieter the showy Quest is compared to the GT Air. It's unbelievable. And a, a GT Air is not a turbulent helmet by any means. It's absolutely rock solid and it sits on my head beautifully, but it does not feel uh, even remotely as calm and as settled as this. There's so little wind noise, it's baffling. Absolutely baffling. Instead of a, a roaring, angry sounding wind noise with uh, most other helmets, in fact every other helmet that I've used, with this, with the Quest, 
it turns the wind into a nice calm whooshing noise which is so much more pleasant to listen to over long distances i have so much more tolerance for that sound than i do over that that angry wind buffeting that you hear with most other lids the lack of wind noise in the Shoei Quest impressed me so much that I decided to make the change and use this as my main vlogging helmet. It's so quiet in there and it's so peaceful, it's easy for me to think, easy to concentrate and more importantly the air is so still in there that there's no audio disruption on my recordings. There's no wind on my face thanks to the mixture of the chin curtain and the aerodynamics of the chin. Very very impressive stuff, well done to Shoei on that, have a brownie point. Comfort wise, it's pretty much the same as the GT Air, the fit is the same, I have an extremely big head, sits on me absolutely perfectly, whether I'm going fast or slow or shaking my head violently for whatever reason, it's planted, it doesn't wiggle from side to side or up or down, it just sits there perfectly, it's so light I can barely feel it. The Quest is a much more understated, kind of more grown up, maturish, touring style helmet and I'm, I'm genuinely blown away by how much I love it. It's fantastic, it's so quiet, calm and collected. If I'm, if I'm going on any trip off the island, it's, it's a no-brainer for me which helmet I take. It's 100% of the time, it's the Quest. One of my favourite features with this helmet is the visor locking system on the sides. It has three settings. One is regular, visor opens and closes as normal. The first, Click the, you click this little arched lever thing here forward and it lifts the bottom corner of the visor up ever so slightly which delivers a tiny tiny breeze into the front of your face just that little bit of airflow that you need perfect for cruising around town or on a hot day like this it's like 25 degrees today I know that's not exactly record breaking but for an English guy believe me I'm nearly dying it's just amazing the second setting is in the middle. Remember there are three settings, so that was number one. Number two is normal. Visor opens and closes as you wish. The third setting, pushed all the way back. Now the visor will not open. Now, this is something that I think is actually relatively genius, especially when you consider what this helmet was designed for, and that's long miles, motorway journeys, that kind of thing. And that is that previously, we have a, a stretch of dual carriageway on the island, and I like to do a shoulder check before I change lanes on it. And I was wearing my old helmet before the GT Air, which is a Shox Sniper. And I looked over my shoulder, and the wind tore the visor open. Just whipped it straight up, with, with surprising amounts of force, actually. I'm, I'm relatively surprised that something didn't break. Um, and what this setting does, is it prevents that from happening. The visor will not open. I cannot open it. I have to click, down to, click back down to setting number two to open and close it again genius little touches. It's nice to have that little bit of extra security. Just uh, just don't forget it's there and snap the mechanism. I think considering that there's pretty much nothing I would change in this helmet, the only thing I think could do with improving really is the airflow from the vent on the top of the head. It's really not all that fantastic, it's better than nothing, but I, I really think it's, it's a little bit of a letdown. Other than that, I am blown away by the quality surrounding this helmet. The noise reduction is fantastic, I love the visor settings 1, 2 and 3, it's extremely comfortable, it's quiet, the shell is solid, it's Snell and DOT approved, it comes with a 5 year warranty, the cheek pads are removable which is great for washing them, you can also change the sizes if you want. So ultimately considering the price point of the Shoei Quest which as of June 2015 is £300 in the UK with a free visor, would I recommend this helmet to anyone else? Absolutely. So the Shoei Quest is a light, comfortable, quiet, safe, well thought out helmet. I would recommend it to anybody. I understand that it's not the coolest looking, like most badass thing ever, so it may not appeal to some of the younger riders out there, but believe me, there's, there's no comparison between this and something a bit more sporty, something with a lot less features, I think for the money. You can't really go wrong. Pick one up, people.